We're now joined uh, by Larry Pratt of Gun Owners of America. I believe it's gunowners.org. And we want to get his take on this latest piece of trash document by the DHS. How are you tonight, sir? Well, I'm doing just fine. I'm just loving every minute of being a terrorist, and it doesn't sound like you're very repentant either. But I'm sure that, uh, as I like to call her, Secretary Magoo is well on the trail, and she's going to... She's going to take care of our terrorism problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the Napolitano is all about taking care of real terrorism, just like Shertoff was. And the interesting thing about this document it is unabashedly not about Islamo extremism. Now, usually they throw that in there. That's in a lot of the other documents. Oh, Al Qaeda is going to get us. This is Al Qaeda like. They right off the bat say this is is issues beyond. Islamic extremism, <clears throat> and one of the most disturbing ones to me, Larry, right off the bat, the second one, alternative media, and let me read you the, demi- uh, the definition, a term used to describe various information sources that provide a forum for interpretations of events and issues that differ radically from those presented in the mass media products and outlets. So if we don't believe the corporate media and we use their own stories against them, apparently we're extremist terrorists. Well, of course, because... Uh uh, if you're thinking outside the parameters they've established, that shows a an, uh, dangerous level of rebellion. And they know that from experience that that leads to strapping on uh, explosive vests and blowing oneself up, right? I mean, isn't this a problem we have with all those Baptist pro-lifers and those Catholic uh, traditional marriage types? Uh, and all oh, those returning veterans, oy vey, uh, what? I can't believe the threat that they are. So, uh, yeah, you're right, this alternative media stuff has just got to stop. And, in fact, uh, other folks in that administration are dedicated to trying to make sure that the alternative media uh, comes to an end. And, and I kind of take it personally. I don't have a show that uh, has a fraction of your listeners, or certainly of Alex Jones's, uh, but I've got a little uh, talk radio show once a week, uh, Larry Pratt News Hour, and I interview all kinds of other fellow terrorists. And uh, how are we going to be able to recruit for our terrorist cells if they cut off our ability to use the radio waves? Well, you know, it's so broad. I mean, this this is the broadest brush I think they've painted. And uh, that Virginia Fusion Center before this was probably. You know, almost as broad as this, but when they brought into this one, I couldn't believe it, anti-technology extremism and anti-immigration extremism, and the definition of anti-immigration extremism, by the way, is if you don't believe that uh, individuals who aren't from this country shouldn't get uh, rights like driver's licenses, national identification cards, uh, in-state tuition, medical benefits. Uh, welfare, I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, it's, it's unbelievable to me. I, I don't care what the color of a person's skin is the bottom line is if you want to become a citizen great there's a process to do so and then you can get all those things Absolutely. but otherwise why do you get a driver's license i can't get a driver's license unless i go down to the dmv i bring them my birth certificate my social security card they want my fingerprint here in texas they want a biometric scan i mean <laughs> oh that the illegal like here you go. texas then is participating with the real id act mm-hmm. with the national id card system mm-hmm. And I'm disappointed that Texas is not one of the dozen or so states that have told the feds to have a nice day if they want information like that, that biometric type information from our citizens. Um, Well, uh, next. (laughs) (laughs) Well, again, you know, actually there is an initiative where they're rolling it out as the uh, real ID and people are protesting that. But, you know, there's that famous video of Alex back in the 90s when he was going to reissue his license where they even wanted a biometric thumb scan then. And they're doing this all over, you know, Manchester to launch for ID cards, Big Brother. I mean, it's no secret to anybody who's in the know that really their police state grid, their beta test is in London where literally you walk out of the house and you are photographed and filmed 300 plus times during your day, which is absolutely ludicrous. And they're trying to put that into place oh, everywhere. And, and by the way, does it solve crime? Does it lower crime? The answer to both questions, no, it doesn't solve crimes. It doesn't lower crime. It doesn't prevent crimes. Uh, it just means that they know what size of a body bag to bring to the scene of the crime that occurred many minutes before help will be able to get there. And uh, that's uh, 
an amazing thing that they make these claims that it's a an effective crime fighting tool. I mean, forget the privacy invasion. Uh, there's just nothing about what they claim for these systems that is true. It's all one big fat piece of fantasy, uh, I guess. And probably they've got Secretary Magoo looking at all these pictures that are being taken of the poor Brits as they walk around uh, London town. Uh, and, uh, and Secretary Magoo will be as helpful finding criminals in England as over here. By the way, their, their murder rate is going up since their gun ban, uh, which is more or less coincident with this invasion of privacy. Uh, their violent crime rate has gone up astronomically, and that well-known uh, pro-gun organization called the United Nations, I joke. Um, <laughs> yes, they're has, very pro-gun. <laughs> has found that the uh, English, the Brits, have the most violent country of all 17 of the most industrialized countries in the world, and that was not true just even 10 years ago, 15 years ago. Uh, let's see, they've had their ban now for going on 12 years, and uh, the the um, uh, the lessons never learned, just same as over here in jurisdictions where we've had gun bans, crime has gone up, murder has gone up, and rather than admit that, oh, looks like that was a, a bad idea, we better take that law off the books, they, they're they talking in England now about banning a whole uh, uh, replica guns, BB guns. You mean what they found the last terrorist with? Do you remember during the G20, they uh, arrest, arrested a bunch of teenagers. One person was like 22, the rest were 19 and 16 years old. They said they were terrorists. They go into the house, they had some fireworks and a couple BB guns. They didn't have any weapons whatsoever. Now, did they retract the story? No, they said these are hardcore terrorists and we stopped an attack. Well, it's like that young man that's been arrested and still has, is in custody, uh, apparently under the Patriot Act. His uh, his mama says, and we don't have any way to talk to him because he's been incommunicado for a couple of months since the, uh, he was kidnapped, if you will, by the FBI. Uh, but apparently his computer was hacked and things that the federales didn't like were coming off his computer, but were not coming from him. And they told the judge when they uh, tried to justify keeping him incommunicado that, uh, well, he's claiming that uh, his IP address on his computer was hacked. And, well, that's just not possible, Your Honor. What a bunch <laughs> of they, – they may be that stupid. They may actually not well, know they, Well, they, they are that stupid, and that's because they're really not in touch with, you know, my generation and the technology age. And what's even more scary oh, is they're you're gonna... the one that's anti-technology, and they're <laughs> the ones that are defending technology. I got it. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Keep reminding me who the players are because I really need a scorecard. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, again, that's a, that's a great point because I've always taken the position, you know, it's like anything. It's a dual-edged sword. It can either empower humanity or it can enslave humanity. And unfortunately, the powers that be don't want to empower humanity. They want to empower themselves by enslaving us through this technology, through RFIDs, through these CCTV cameras, through this control grid that they have set up. And I'm not going to put up with it. Now, I'm going you know, to expose I, them. Actually, I should admit something. Mm -hmm. I am all in favor of biometric data being on people's cards and RFID chips for those who work for the government. Mm -hmm. I want to know where they are at mm -hmm. all times. That they work for me, and I should have that information. Isn't that doesn't that make sense? They apparently they look at us like they're herd of cattle. And what's the? Of course, we chip cattle, don't we? <laughs> it's true. And you know, you mentioned uh, you know hacking. One of the things in here, hacktivism. If you're a hacktivist, uh, the use of cyber technologies to achieve a political end or technology enabled po political or social activism. Okay, I use cyber technologies every day for a political end to try to restore the Constitution and Bill of Rights. Under that definition, even without the alternative media, I, of course, would be an extremist or a terrorist. It's and they a act wonder like you're not in the next isolation cell next to this poor young high school student. Well, let's hope that I have a, 
you know, just a tad bit notoriety and they can't just throw me in a cell for speaking my mind on the Internet. I mean, they, I guess they can shut down the Alex Jones channel and nothing can be done. And that was so frustrating today, folks. You know, for someone on the inside, I had to sit there and listen to Jason Douglas, uh, who's a producer here, call up YouTube, call up Google, say, well, can I talk to this person? I just talked to the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. They say they don't they never put in this thing and they want to retract and they want the channel back up. They're sick of getting the phone calls and they just gave them the runaround again and again and again. And I mean, let's face it, Google is part of the government. Google Earth, folks, they're about to take the GPS of every home in this country within 40 feet. You better believe it. It's here. We'll be back after this with Larry Pratt. It's the Info Warrior, PrisonPlanet.tv, Infowars.com. You're listening to GCN, the world leader in independent talk radio.